Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a delicious fruit and milk gelatin. In case you guys want to make this super easy and delicious dessert, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe we're going to need three strawberry gelatin packages, one pound of fresh strawberries, one can of sweetened condensed milk, one can of evaporated milk, two cups of milk, and one cup of heavy whipping cream. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to start by cutting our strawberries. And now for this recipe, you can use any fruit that you want or any flavor gelatin that you want. Um, so we're just going to cut our strawberries. So cut them in half, and then we're going to cut them into small pieces. Half again. Alright guys, so once we have our strawberries ready, now we're going to get our bun pan ready. Alright guys, so this is a 12 cup bun pan. Uh, we're going to spray with non-stick cooking spray, just lightly coat it. And then we're going to go over with the paper towel and remove the excess. Okay, so now we're going to add our strawberries on the bottom layer. So just make sure that you spread them evenly. All right, so once we have that ready, now we're going to work on our gelatin. All right guys, so first we're going to bring two cups of water to a boil. All right guys, so once our water comes to a boil, we're going to turn it off. We're going to add one packet of our gelatin, and we're just going to dissolve it. So just keep mixing it until it dissolves completely. All right, so once we have dissolved our gelatin, we're going to add one cup of ice cold water. Keep mixing it and we're going to wait for our gelatin to come to uh, room temperature before we pour it on our strawberries all right guys so after a few minutes our gelatin should be um, a room temperature so now we're going to pour it on top of our strawberries Alright guys, so now we're going to place our gelatin in the refrigerator for one hour or until our gelatin has set. Alright guys, it's almost been two hours, so now we're going to begin to work on our milk gelatin. So I'm going to bring two cups of milk to a light simmer. And if you don't want to use milk, you can use water as well. Alright guys, so once you see the little bubbles, we're going to turn it off. And we're going to add two packets of our gelatin. So make sure that you're mixing it. So just keep mixing until it dissolves. So now we're going to add our sweet condensed milk, our whipping cream, our evaporated milk, and our gelatin. All right, so now we're going to blend everything together until everything is well combined. All right, so once everything is combined and we have a beautiful pink color, now we are ready to transfer it into our gelatin. All right, so we're going to pour our milk gelatin on top of our strawberries. wiggle it around so it can set even. All right, so now we're going to place it in our refrigerator and let it sit overnight or for at least four hours. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day and now we are ready for the fun part. So our gelatin is ready. So with our clean fingers, we're going to pull the gelatin away from the pan. So just press it down and away. 
and do the same to the center. So now I'm going to grab my um, cake circle, or you can use your plate, whatever you're going to use to plate your gelatin. And we're going to flip it over. Okay, so now we're just going to give it a couple minutes for the gelatin to um, unstick from the pan. Or if you want to speed up the process, just soak your, your pan in hot water. All right, so once it's ready, we're just going to pull the pan away. And there's our delicious gelatin. And of course, now you get to decorate it however you want. Um, you can put fresh strawberries, you know, uh, whatever, whatever you decide to do. Um, just going to add some blueberries in the center. Just going to keep it very simple. And then just add a couple strawberries. And of course you can glaze them. And then just put them right there. But yeah, there it goes. Super easy and delicious gelatina. All right, guys, so once you're ready to cut into it, you're just going to cut it as you would do a cake. Look at that, so beautiful. All the strawberries. Now we're ready to enjoy. All right, you guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Let me tell you guys that this dessert, it's seriously so perfect for any gathering or just, you know, um, to have it on any special occasion or just any day. Um, everybody enjoys it. Everybody loves it. The kids, um, the husband, everybody. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it too. And like I said, the fruit, you can always substitute it for your favorite fruit. And as well as the gelatin, the flavor gelatin, you can replace it for the um, same fruit that you're um, using. But since Valentine's is just around the corner, pink and strawberries are just the perfect go-to. Um, I wish the strawberries were a little bit more riper, but this is all I had, or this is all the grocery stores had, um, but I'm ready, so. Mm-hmm. It's just like the perfect combination. And it's not so sweet, you guys. It's just perfect. Um, the, this is my favorite part. But once you eat it together, seriously, the best. Alrighty, guys, and there you have it. How I make a delicious fruit and milk gelatin. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.